So why Mark is doing a naughty, he's having a cigarette. We've just arrived at the location. Um, keep telling him to stop. Guys, check out the naughty as well. New air freshener. Do you see the air freshener? <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway guys, before we start the video, I just want to say thanks to everyone who supports us. It's a massive, honestly, we couldn't, without the achievement we've got, it's thanks to you guys for watching us. Please share, like and subscribe. Make sure you share it with all your friends and family that love us. If YouTube or anyone are trying to get rid of us, this will keep us going. So guys, check out as well the merch store. Thanks to all the channel members, the Patreons. I love you from the bottom of my heart. So does Mark. Um, it makes trips happen. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Let's go. near the new Dora Explorer bus. bus. Now we took this car, I took this car in as a part X, um, but I've decided to keep it. He's We've replaced it, the... Shh, I'm not recording. Yeah. We inherited it. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's not It's really stopped. cheap. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, we took this car in part X. Um, great little car to be fair, but this isn't the car channel. So anyway, Mark spotted saying, so we're gonna go and check it out quick. But after we've checked this out, we've got a little house. Um, we don't know anything about it yet, but we're gonna try and hopefully speak to some of the local people up here, hopefully without them being, no, you can F off. But I'll sometimes when you're nice to them and you ask, can we just have a look around? And if there's no way in or you have to, like, then we don't obviously do it. But I think we should go and check it out. We'll have a little look. But yeah, let's go and check out what Mark said. Let's go. First, I wanna go, I wanna go. <laughs> This is where we're not kids, bro. We're supposed to be exploring. <laughs> oh, let's, let's have one. Right. Playtime, work time, yeah? Yeah. We're well, looking around this place. Before we go and explore it, we have found, and we've got to try it out, because it's right near the car. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> a slide on a hill, bro. It's actually quite high. <laughs> He's scared. <laughs> I can't do it. No! We should pull the polish with us. Alright, ready? Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, ready? Go! <laughs> Can't do it. Actually, <laughs> it is, isn't it? Mate, oh, I've terrible. definitely put on weight. I got stuck between the gap here. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Not really! <laughs> Not really! <laughs> We're going exploring now, I promise. <laughs> what is this doing, mate? What is this shit? Sorry about that, guys. We're going exploring now. Mark, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Mark, are you ready? Yeah. What are you doing? Bye. Ah, Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, bro. Oh. I feel like about five. Yeah. <laughs> All right, should we do the house? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> we are serious this time. Let's go. Oh, we got to walk a mission. We got to walk up country roads. No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Tough. You're doing it. You ready? <laughs> Country roads. Country fields. Right, let's go. So we're parked all the way over there and the location is right up the road through the country lane. We couldn't find nowhere to park, so couldn't find nowhere to park. Parked in a park. <laughs> Bro, you ready? Tip, tap, tap, tap. It's country roads. <laughs> Take me, Take me home. We always end up on country roads. We're looking for a little place, completely abandoned. Uh, we've already spoke to someone down the road a little bit. They told us some story. We're gonna tell you in a little bit about this place, but it's so overgrown. It's 
It's a small, cool little house, but let's get in. Let's do it. So this place is hidden so much. Wow. By the look at the maps as well, it's a long way down. Mark suggests we go around the back. What do you think? We go up the road and down the back. We're going to try and have a little look at this building here while we're here. But we don't want to upset anyone. Yeah. You can't even get over to it, it's so overgrown. But we could work our way down here, but at the end of the day, we don't want to pee anyone off, so let's get round the back, yeah? I'm going to follow your backside. Look at that backside. Give it a wobble. <laughs> I just want to say as well, I get this comment as well, Mark, I've done a few sinners as well, where I've had people asking, are we a couple? No. <laughs> <laughs> as, much, as much as I love this dude, um, we're both very uh yeah as much as i love this dude we both have children and uh yeah we've just been friends for a long time I think that's um, the video video. <laughs> yes we might do a skip do a skip mark i might wet myself i'm still busting for a week <laughs> <laughs> oh dude where are you taking me i get worried mum my mum said never follow any men down an alley this house. Back on. So, we don't want neighbours like, but we've just spoke to a guy down there. He said there was a Philip and Irene that lived here. And they literally couldn't afford the repairs. They had no other family. And this is how they were living. we to be quiet because we don't have someone's in the field there. They were literally living with a gazebo, like a wedding front, at the front of the house. Dude, take me in, let's have a look. See how the story goes. When Philip passed away, she never wanted to leave this house. There's no freaking front door. We're literally stepping under here. Dude, what room are we in? We're just in the living room. <laughs> We're I don't mean to laugh, guys, but like this place is absolutely. This is like Chainsaw Massacre shit. Dude, I'm gonna swear as well. Like, this is some crazy ass shit, man. They've had to live like this. And the worst thing is, apparently, the authorities were getting involved that she had to move out. It's condemned unsafe. She lived there her whole life. She didn't want to leave. And in the end, she got taken out. Do you know why? Because the neighbor didn't see her doing her usual thing. That's going out the front, putting her bird seed thing out. And they found her, unfortunately, in one of the rooms in this place. Mark did, but I don't know. Guys, I'm going to spin this camera around. Mark, give me your views. <laughs> I mean, what do you think, dude? What kind of speech is how bad it is? I can't believe she was... Bless her heart, man. The ceiling could have fell on her at any time. No, that's probably happened after she moved out, surely. Oh, yeah. Look at the old TV, bro. That brings back some memories like seeing Gran and... Even my mum and dad had that TV. Probably plug it in and it's still... <laughs> it probably will. Dude, I bet that weighs more than you. Might do. Pick that TV up, but don't lift it right up. This is crazy, man. Lift that TV up, dude. No, I don't fall, right? Not right to you, just try and lift it off that rack. See how heavy it is. Mark is the cameraman right now. What's Dave going to put his back at? <laughs> Mate, that's like lifting a gold tank. That's like a goldfish tank that's full up. But you could technically make a goldfish. You could, couldn't you? Imagine a little screen. Oh, ain't you seen tanked? And that is called Chelsea, and it's a colour edition. And you, mad. You've not seen that programme tanked? They turn anything into a fish tank. No. Cars, all sorts, fridges, anything. It's mad. Really? Yeah. 
It's on about three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So what's through here? Kitchen. Do you want to go? Just spin it around. Have do, a do, 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 do. It'd be weird seeing you do the camera, man. <laughs> Well, this bit, I presume, was an out bit to the porch. Oh, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, let the old coat back. But, yeah, it's like you could literally wobble the door, man. And it's... <laughs> Gee whiz, man. <laughs> I see you trying to focus on them. Dude, the ceiling's falling down as we're standing in here. Man, no difference. Fell through the floor. Wow, man, it's incredible. It's mad, isn't it? I just want to bring you through here, Mark. Walk with me, walk with me, two sacks. All right, he's trying to take me into just, another room again. Just want to imagine now. You imagine Irene, I forgot his name. Is it Philip? I think so, yeah. Guys, I'm sorry I forgot that wrong, but yeah. I'm pretty certain. I'm going to check with him again, but I'm sure it's Irene or Philip. You imagine them sitting here, cozied up on this triple sofa here, because the TV's sort of in line with that. But then the fireplace is there, so I don't really know what's going on. Mm. Just have a look. Just kind of give us a date. Because he was saying it was over 20 years ago, but... The Weekly for Women. Just proves, man, she was literally here on at her own. you looking at the right magazine, though. Hey? Yeah. Yeah, don't look at that page. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see a date, do Can you see a date? What about the newspaper there on the chair? Where? With his newspaper, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah, what about this one? No way, bro. This is March 31st, 1980. This is 42 year old, dude. Wait, so you mean? Nearly as old as old enough. So when he moved in, the guy, he was saying he doesn't know loads, but he, obviously it's what he's been told, but this is longer than... Mate, this is 40 years. Yeah, but look, Gee, think no front wall on it. I'm just trying to visualise them now sitting here, but how she's literally put that up, bless her, to Gonna keep the wind bad. out of here. You imagine that if that was your nan or granddad sat in this room, trying to keep warm. Dude, that's crazy. It's pretty cool, that, that, words, I can't believe the ceiling just fall on your head nearly. <laughs> nearly did it work one time as well. Ah, oh, it makes my heart go. I'm going to literally do, you can, you can do the talk now, let's go, show me this kitchen bro. Enough see you my mug. Watch, dude, watch the ceiling, it's literally falling on you already. I'm worried about something going from the foot on you. I've had a brick on me before. Yeah, I know, but... Oh my god. We're going to go through the floor, eh? Right. Dude, how is she living like this, man? Lights, bright lights. This has got to be afterwards. Oh, mate. My foot's literally going through the floor, dude. It's alright here. Oh. <laughs> Your calendar's fire. Well, you should have charged my light up last night and it's dead nearly. What, what's that about? It's funny, isn't it? Plastic sink. Yeah, I was actually expecting quite a... You know the old... Um, yeah, that's true. Sure. Yeah. The ones. Look at this little house, it's literally all wooden house. So it reminds me of something you know you see like in America, you know like the little American sort of the wooden little houses and yeah. shack bits. Yeah that looks a bit moving. Yeah that does actually. That is kind of like crazy man. Is that shit falling down or are we just literally just... I don't know what's There's a house right there. Is it better than this house? <laughs> yeah, it's better than it. <laughs> oh, mate, it makes me feel so bad. Uh, so sorry for her. I can just imagine her little shaky hands cooking a, a little one meal for herself. Got house, soap. <laughs> What's through here? Don't do it, though. Ah. What was that? Was that a pantry or a cupboard? Yeah, or? Maybe, yeah. Gee! How are you? See, I learnt my lesson the other day. Sorry, that wasn't intentional. We never damaged anything. That is literally crazy, though. I think we should probably go around that way, Dave, to get to that. What way? Around back through. Is this meant to be in the house? I don't know what it's meant to be. What is through there? A dining room? Um, Bro, 
maybe gravy jar. So, look at the little curtains and everything still hanging there. See the light bulb still in. Well, I'll turn the switch on. Don't turn the switch on. Mm. Oh, look at it. All. And you can see that kind of. I'm going to slap you in a Mate, this bar. place is falling down. The little toast thing. That's what I had this morning toast. Oh, I like everything still here. Toast. It reminds me of a proper seaside cup. Oh, look, yeah, it's an actual unit built onto the wall. Mate, it's literally falling away. Oh. Do you know what? I'm not just saying this as well to kind of get that emotional like from everyone. Like, oh, he's so emotional. We're actually generally pretty good guys. And I know one thing that me and Mark would do. If we knew this lady... Now, this is over an hour and a half away from home. But if we knew of her, she was someone up my street... There's no way I'd let her have a plastic sheet up the front of her house. No way. So it makes me feel like the neighbours around here, are they really supportive? They let her live like that? But then she could have been one of them people as well. That's, no, don't want help. No. It does happen as well. When they leave us apart, they can change as well. And, uh, yeah, this was home for her. Like, we're coming in here like, this is dangerous, but for her, this is home. I don't know why my lights just died. It's been on charge all night. So before we left this room, no, I've just come back in this room. As Mark was saying, well, we didn't check the books out, and that's correct, we didn't. Good thinking. Batman. But here, if we can work out, and it was nearly, this is basically, I didn't even realize that was a stereo. I didn't even know it was stereo. <laughs> <laughs> this is what 40 years of decay looks like. I mean, she was here like 40 years ago, but this is crazy. Little Irene, bless her. Checkmate to Destiny, the story of Saudi. Did you say that is? Sadia, Sadia, Sadia. <laughs> what we got here? We've got the green mantle. We've got the, the man in my chair. That sounds quite creepy. The happy prisoner. We've got here the herb of grace. There is, there is guys as well. Did you think we come through the back way, didn't we? Why, why is it with you and back ways taking back ways? I don't know, you're the one with a sore throat, you've not been doing none of that. <laughs> that item. <laughs> yeah, guys, literally the road. How far would you say the road? It's quite a way, isn't it? Yeah. So the road is a it's long way up there. The way we've come in the back. So the front garden of this place is huge. And the back garden's got quite a bit. Yeah, it's got a few sheds and whatnot, isn't it? I thought that light, but yeah. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the flooring on here, dude. I mean, no, it's a little stereo. It's a Philip. There's Philip. <laughs> no way. Did I say, is it Philip and Irene? I think so, yeah. I'm losing it. How weird is that? And the stereo is Philip's. That's our old age, though. Maybe that's what they wanted. Dude, look at this. It's getting on a bit. Take that beard off and I might get some memory back. That's pretty cool. That is cool. Imagine that stone blasted, sand blasted, all yeah, painted back up. Old place and it's still got the amazing, like the glass on it as well. Even that, really. Some of this was <laughs> Dude, I'm not even joking to you. You know, when I just felt like I left in that chair, when I put that down and lifted my arm up, it felt like I caught something, like something was sat there. Yeah, I caught something for cold. Dude, I'm not even doing the paranormal stuff with you, but that literally feels like someone was sat there still. How weird is that? I think you're fucking getting a bit devious in your old age. I am. Yeah, but haven't you noticed in some of the videos, so many people have pointed out when certain numbers and times, things have happened. Voices. Oh, yeah, and you, dude, come on. How many times have you explored and you never heard them voices, nor have I? Well, probably because we're concentrating on other stuff, innit? Look at the old plugs here. Look. The glass is literally going to fall out. There's no security, but then it <laughs> still opens. But back in the 60s and that, in the 50s, you probably would just leave it open like that and leave your money there for the milkman. <laughs> so this is the way we literally stepped into the house, which is probably would have been maybe the dining room. What's around here? Dude, there's bunk beds. What the 
<laughs> oh, mate, look, it's on my hands. Get it off. He's got cobwebs. Oh, dude. He's got no friend. <laughs> mate, look at all the flies. My light keeps dying, guys. I would put the name of it so you don't can avoid to buy them because it's terrible, this light. That bad, it's literally, look, 0%. Hmm. But while we've got a bit of light, look at all the old units and stuff. Yeah, it's got that old feel, like 1980 again. Everything's 1980, dude. We were still in our daddy's testicles. We were still swinging around. Look at this. The Miss Londoner. Ah, oh, that reminds me of like a, the handlebars of like a chopper or something. Ring the bell. Yeah, 1978. Wow. We were definitely still in the testicles. Bro, these magazines have not been moved for a long time. 1981. So that kind of gives another year ahead. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's been... So maybe long, it could have been 20-odd years. years, and like he said, he thinks... Did you think all the holes in the roof, the place is so open? Yeah. You think the last people... And it's wood. ...have so stepped on that bed as well. The not protected. Oh, yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah, with that light, it's... Dude, I'll just pick that magazine out of the bed, it's on the fucking floor. And even if it just fell off the bed, it would have fallen that way, not... Well, I told you this place is giving me the jeeves. But at least one thing, at least one thing, there's a lot of ways out of this place we can run. <laughs> I'm going to put this magazine back, so... Hey, put your crack away. If we've got Philip or Irene here, hopefully you're okay as exploring your home. Come on, Irene. Exploring your home. Who let the dogs out? We're not doing no harm. We're literally going to leave. Keep the camera on this way. Yeah, the lamps are. I still can't explain that magazine. What is that? Reading lamps. <gasps> Maybe there was a double bed here. Maybe this was a bedroom, bro. And that was next to the bed. Yeah. What the hell is that? This is the point where we need to be quiet. I've never seen that before hanging next to the bed. I can't see that. They've not pulled out the ceiling either except the wiring's there, all the way along there. So you're actually going to go through there. There's even a tree. The leaves <laughs> so noisy. Oh, this is crazy, bro. Dude, this is probably the best room in the house. It's probably the most solid room. Oh, look at the old chairs. They're like that kind of like angledy type chairs. Oh, this is a cool little place, man. I actually yeah, like this little place. It's got a real grandma feel about this house, dude. We should probably come here and do a paranormal investigation. Imagine it. Doing like a ghost thing here of a night. I should have drunk all that sort of trick. You need a wee again. No. That dude, it's even got its own peephole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, is that... What is that? Moth. Bro, I couldn't. We couldn't spend the night in here anyway because where could we even sleep? But this place it's too close as well. Really. You even said it yourself. You felt a little bit weird in this place. It was weird. Oh, look. It's definitely a weird feeling. I'm glad I'm short. <laughs> He's got his cobbies. Dude, I just had a thought before I leave this room. What did he say that she used to do with the local kids? Bring them in and teach them stuff. Like bakery and bits, he said she did a lot for the village. I'm wondering if this turned around and this was like a little teaching room. Do you think it's weird? I mean, oh, it's, this isn't a desk, it's more of a chest of drawers, but it's weird how the little chairs are in this room and there's nothing else in this room unless because it's so open, they've literally someone's been in empty all day. 
I don't know. But yeah, it's one of them. Not all the time we know exactly what's happening in these places. It's quite hard to tell like, all the time. And if... What was that? Was that banging out there? Yeah, we don't want to upset none of the neighbours because there's a house literally there and there's a house behind us. But yeah, it's definitely... So it's always fucking with us. <laughs> yeah, that's in here, bro. Look at the kitchen there. Oh, we've been in there, haven't we? <laughs> Gee, is that the shower? Guys, this is like, this is kind of, right. We're gonna do a house sales pitch. So me and Mark, we're gonna sell this place. If you want that outside feeling inside and a massive potential bit of glass of a Roof that's going to come down on us any minute. Bro, how is it? Obviously, it's meant to be indoors. <laughs> There's a pillar there. And let us shelving out here, which is obviously would have been indoors. But it is, yes, yeah, so this would have had a roof over it. Maybe this bit was put on later on, dude. Because uh, there's like a felt roof, so maybe, maybe put a felt roof. Definitely weird. Corona, Corona bag. Corona. <laughs> so yeah, there's a little kitchen there. So it's only a small little property, but. God, oh, mate. Oh. Don't get decapitated. So yeah, by the looks of it, there would have been like a bath in here or some kind of shower. I don't know what that. What? Oh, maybe an airing cupboard. Even the birds have nested inside the bathroom cupboard. Look at the little cupboards up here, dude. It's like they made made do of all the space they had in this pot. You right. I told you. You didn't listen to me, man. This place is weird. Uh, should we open the window and let some fresh air in? Told you. Mark is, Mark's like, Mark's the one that always says to me, there's like an explanation or, put it down to the wind. you worry too much and I'm like, bro, but for him then just to get freaked, that just proves, man, there's something weird. And all of a sudden it just felt like something went past me. Told you. It's a weird place, dude. You're it down to the wind. And not from my backside either. Are you sure? Someone's called me. Oh, bro, she died of a lonely heart, this woman. Started, I know it's just about to go out the front door, but we just spotted there's another door at the back, so we've come through here. Guys, look at that window. How the hell... Are we allowed to say how? How has that glass not fallen out of that frame? I do not know. We've literally got tons of weight. That's the ceiling above us. Old, Old stuff last. Yeah. Even though the house is falling down around us. <laughs> I'm joking. Guys, what is this? Is this like some kind of tin opener thing that was on the wall? Yeah, that is that like a tin opener? No name on it. You want to use the toilet? says to me that older people, older generations are a lot tougher than newer generations. Because there is the outdoors toilet. So you imagine on a winter's night, you're freezing cold, you're laying in bed and you're like, how do you, even when you're in bed some nights, you think, I need to go to the toilet and you can't be bothered to move straight away. Imagine if you have to come outside. Yeah. <laughs> There's your toilet, guys. It's literally in a shed outside. Let the old bottles. Should we go out? Oh, we'll go around this way and we'll check the front out again. Yeah, so the back of the house finishes where that fence is down there. Oh, so this is the house. I thought it was a shed. Nah. Oh. 
so we just come back through there remember the outside toilet absolutely crazy that's my phone but that even a little table it's definitely like an old grandma's table at mine's well. but those it's literally falling through the floor and all these royal plates eventually are just going to go straight down with them you can see how clear they were the amount of debris falling down oh I love the little head, cu head cups down that I knew missed earlier that's so cool so yeah I'm just going to head through anyway that looks like part of the electricity cable bro is on the bloody floor Grandma's house. That's absolutely crazy, bro. Isn't it? Do you think this place has got like that really old ranch look? It's so mad we're standing out here and the TV's literally looking at us. <laughs> Definitely been abandoned a long time. A long time, dude. So we're going to take a walk around the sides. Not only that, it's that was the of the drive. Look at the trees. <laughs> yeah, huge trees all grown up. And they're not that young, are they? They're... Watch me head. Oh, look, there's where these lights are, dude. What kind of screw still works. We can literally unscrew that to change the bulb and it still all works. I feel so sorry for her, that. She's put this all for, like, insulation, dude. She must have been freezing cold. You can see that obviously it's just the ivory and the, all the overgrowns overtook this place and she just couldn't cope with it. And the problem is, she obviously had her heart set here so much and loved this place so much that yeah, she didn't want to leave, this was home. This is another little building here and we've got a, a kind of greenhouse. We did see it on the way in. So this is your little toilet here. In the back of this place, it's tiny. Oh, this is pretty cool. Little shit mirror. Yeah, that. Old typewriter. Look at the old den, the old lampshades. Definitely like a 60s, 70s feeling there, those two lampshades. Sorry? That's it, work on it. If I fall through this floor, everyone's going to know I'm here. So be fair, dude, the shed's in pretty bad condition in the house. <laughs> this is so cool, though. Yeah, I love these. I actually really like these. Who's with me for the lampshades? <laughs> so we're doing, what should we say, Mark, two pound each or two for a fiver? <laughs> <laughs> I love two pound each, mate. <laughs> no, guys, we never take nothing. <sighs> see all the old magazines. It's like being a kid again and seeing the old mags and stuff. That web's definitely moving, mate. There's a big old spider up there. No, well, Let's moving. get that out of there. Your head's on it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, crap. You went all with the cobweb. Sorry. I'm falling. I'm stuck. Sorry. That's it. There are literally cobwebs everywhere. So this boat, which I... I didn't realise, dude, this boat... Get a big boat. Oh, shoot. This boat is all part of this. I've never seen nothing like that. Has anyone else? Mate. What is that? It looks like a part of an old, I thought it was an old part of an old grandfather clock. I think it is. Or a grandmother clock, they call them, the smaller one. Yeah, could be. So, welcome to the AWE office. <laughs> yeah, 
<sighs> just had the biggest prick. Just got one. I'm going to turn my light off. Right, so let's get out of this ground. I'm getting attacked by every thorn, bush, you name it. And one thing we always say is if we can get out in and out of a property without upsetting any neighbours, it's always great. Mars get attacked. So we did our little story as we walked out. We said thank you so much, Irene and Philip. I'm gonna watch this back and be like, oh his name was Paul, but I'm sure it was Philip never gets to remember. It's part of a fishing. Bro, do you wanna look at my tackle? No, you're alright. Sure. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so guys and girls, hopefully. No one was offended with anything we said in the video. Um, we do our best to keep it as good as we can. But we have to have a laugh. We've decided like we're going to let her air down a bit. We don't want to be too serious. But my heart goes to the little lady. If she's watching Dan, she'll see that we left her house exactly how we did. I actually picked up a couple of things that were sat on the floor and put them back on the sides. But it was definitely a weird vibe about that place. I'm not going to lie. When I went down to that chair, it felt cold and it was like something brushed up my arm. It was really weird. I don't know. And for Mark to get a bit freaked. Come on, dude, do you know? I'm putting it down. This, by, this guy's got balls of steel. But he still have, he still have a, uh, a, is it assumption? Yeah. <laughs> he still have some kind of thing about like what it could have been. <laughs> but anyway, that place was weird. Definitely strange. And as I said, when she lost him, she probably felt like her whole world was completely finished. And you know what? If people were so worried about getting her out of there, because it was dangerous, she didn't want to move, why didn't they secure the place and make it safer instead? Why try and drag her out of her family home? She didn't want to go anywhere. But guys and girls, we're going to finish this video down the road because it's so noisy here. Love back in the car, guys. Um, that was a cool location. It's a little bit sad, I'm not going to lie. Like, there's a lot of it that made me think of the amount of elderly that still are alone and they've got no one. Uh, I was just talking to a farmer over there and he said that the couple used to spend a lot of time on the field that we're standing on now. So it's, pretty, uh, it's a pretty thing to make me think. Like, there's a little bench there and it just makes me wonder if they sat there, maybe watched the sunset up together. Who knows? You know, they spent all the years together. So, guys, love you. Love you guys. But don't forget, guys, check out the channel membership. Check out the merch store. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. All the links are in the description. Let's do this. Let's finish it. <laughs> love you loads, guys. Stay safe. Out from me. Out from, Out from Mark. Mark. Love you loads.